Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Minecraft Java on your Chromebook computer. So, let's get started. The first thing to do is go to your web browser, and here we have Google Chrome, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But what we want to do here is simply go to your search bar and search up Minecraft. So, Minecraft, like so. And once you did this, you should see a website called Minecraft.net. The official Minecraft website. Simply click here and you should see this page here. Now all you want to do is click accept and you see more options here and the option that we're interested in is the games tab right here. Simply click on games and now go on the bottom left of this tab to go to downloads. Click here and here you have all the downloads for the Minecraft Java launcher. So all you want to do here is simply scroll down and you should see a Minecraft launcher that you can download for Debian based distributions right here. So it is the Get Minecraft Java and Bedrock Edition for Linux distribution. And this is the one that we want. So it is this one right here. So simply click on the first one and it just downloaded Minecraft.dev. Now, what we want to do is go to a new tab and get yourself JDK23. I will have this in the description as well. So it is J. K23 and it's just Minecraft well basically Java needs Java to run and this will be Java 23 so here we see Java downloads you should see a website like this simply do accept all and scroll down just like before and you should see JDK 23 and it is selected on Linux so all you want to do here is simply find the x64 Debian package and download this one and here we are downloading a 200 megabyte file for Java 23. There you go. And now you're done with the web browser. So you can close that. And all you want to do now is simply go to your settings of your computer. So you want to click here and go to settings. There's different ways of doing it, but here you have settings here. So you want to be in your settings. And once you do this, you simply want to scroll down to the bottom until you find about Chrome OS. Once you did this, you want to scroll down again and you should see Linux development environment. So this is what we want. So what you want to do is just go to settings, scroll down to about Chrome OS and find Linux here. Once you did this, simply do set up and you can see set up Linux development here. So just do next. Here you can choose the username you want and choose in the amount of gigabytes that you want to allocate. So you can put more or less. I'll just do recommend in this case, and you can do install. And now it is just installing Linux, so we will have to wait for that to finish. Alrighty, so once Linux has been installed, you might have a little window like this that shows up, or maybe not, it depends what version you have. And what you can do, you can close this, and now you have Linux. So what we can do, is simply close the settings app so he, we just have the desktop again and what you can go is to your files here so you want to go to your files app and you should see this here linux files this is a new like folder that you have which you can add files to which we'll have to do to have minecraft so if we go here it should be empty and if you go to downloads we should have the things that we have so we have our jdk our Minecraft deb and the video i'm currently doing Okay, so what you want to do here is simply select both the JDK23 and the Minecraft.deb and you want to drag it to Linux files, like so. So now it is copying the items and here it is, it is complete. And what we can do now is double click JDK23, so here it is, and it will give you install app of Linux, do install. And now we are currently installing JDK23 so we can run Java. And after this, we'll be able to run the Minecraft.deb. So if we go here, we can see that the installation is in progress. So let's just wait for that. Okay. And once we're done, we can close. And then we can go to Minecraft.deb. Double click this. And click install. Just like before. And here we have installation in progress again. And now it says installation complete. 
So what we can do, we can launch here or we can go to our app here. So if this doesn't work for you, you can just go to Minecraft here in your little apps here. And if you do this, you're going to have updating Minecraft launcher. So this is just downloading the Minecraft launcher. So let's just wait for that. And there you go. So we now have the Minecraft Java launcher. So what we can do is click Microsoft login. You need to have a Minecraft Java account to use Minecraft Java. So let's just log in. There you go, Microsoft login. And here's just gonna ask us to log in. So I'm just gonna put my account in there and then we'll be able to install Minecraft to play on our Chromebook. And there you go. So I just logged in and here we can see that we have everything sorted out. So we have an account here. And what we can do is go to Minecraft Java Edition. And here we can choose the version that we want. So we have 1.2.4, we have the latest snapshot, and we can go to new installation and get all the versions as well. So, yeah. All we need to do here is simply just select a version, I'll do the latest one, and click play. So what this is going to do now is just install all the required files for this version. And we will just have to wait for this. And after this, Minecraft will just launch up. So let's wait for that. Alrighty. So here we have Minecraft Java. And this will give us a thing. Just continue. And here it is Minecraft Java. So we can go in a single player world, multiplayer here for server. And if we create ourselves a world, we can join. So I'll just create a you know, creative world, doesn't matter. And let us wait for the world to be created. Okay. And here we have Minecraft Java. Now, obviously, the performance will depend like on what computer you have and if you have a sodium or not. So here we don't have like any performance mods. But it does work in itself. So if we just put the settings down maybe a bit, you go with the settings, bring this down too fast. Okay. And let's get all the trunks to load. And there you go. Okay. So there you go. So here's like a Java for you. Now, obviously, there is ways to make performance a bit better, especially like using performance enhancing mods such as like Sodium, Sodium Plus. But in this case, we can get Minecraft Java to work. And if we try and use like a server, so if we save and quit and go to a Minecraft server like Hypixel, again, on a Chromebook, not the best idea, but let's try that. Hypixel.net. Here you should show up. Here it is. And here is Hypixel. So yeah. So yeah, that's how we get Minecraft Java onto your Chromebook device. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.